Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today. He's here today, that's right, to do Naruto Chapter 611 Review. Now, right now, before I get started, right now, I'm feeling pretty damn good. And, you know, two reasons why. Number one, Halo 4. Oh, my God. Oh, oh yeah. I, I love this shit, man. I fucking, I love Master Chief, man. That's my nigga. That's my nigga right there. I love this dude. All right, that's number one. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Haven't played it yet. Black Ops 2. I'm going to play it on Friday, but I've heard mixed things. Either it's shitty as fuck or it's damn good. So, I mean, I'll play it. I'll play it, though. That's number one. Number two, 10,000. 10,000 subscribers. It is not fucking December yet, man. What the fuck? Oh, that's crazy. You know, I'm like, I'm feeling good. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good, right? Uh, not to brag, but you know, I don't know, man. Like, I love you, man. I love you, people. All right. But that being said, that being said, right? Naruto chapter six hundred and eleven review. Fucking finally, the chapter title. Fucking finally. These guys have been running for what appears to be forever, and now, when they need help the most, bam, not just the rookies, everybody, everybody hops the fuck in, and we are, we now have, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say 3,000 plus, because I'm not too sure how many ninja they lost on the second day, but... 3,000 plus Shinobi. The joint, sho the, the, the joint Shinobi Alliance versus Ten Tails, Shitty as Fuck, which is Obito, and my nigga Madara. And the victors are probably, probably gonna be the Ten Tails and Madara. Because, yeah, look, all I'm gonna say is this, alright? Yes. It is cool as fuck to see all these people come out, and now they're going to try and take down the Ten Tails. But you have to remember, Madara, by himself, would probably take them out with, let's say, let's say, minor difficulty, alright? Then Ten Tails, easy. He, the Ten Tails is a god. It is literally a god. There is no fucking way they're going to beat the Ten Tails. No ceiling techniques. No, no, whatever juices they got, no, it's not gonna fucking work. It's, it's simply put, not gonna fucking work. All right, man, it's not gonna work. Now, hopefully, and I'm, and I'm, I'm praying to God. All right, I'm literally, I'm literally praying to like the ten tails itself right now. If, if you're religious, please do not take that super serious. All right, it was meant for jokes, meant for gags. Relax. All right, relax. Take it down a few notches. You know, take it easy. Now. I'm hoping that the Ten Tails delivers something other than this Tail Beast Wave. And I'm calling it Tail Beast Wave because it's more it's more or less like the same concept as a Bijou Dama, but it said uh, but instead of having that condensed chakra explode, the condensed chakra maintains its physical form and then it comes out as like a wave of like a condensed chakra. But I'm hoping to see more. Like all it's been doing is like Tail Beast Wave. Tail Beast uh, 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 like that's all it's been doing. Come on, you're a god. You're a fucking god. You have that crazy sharing on ridding on mechs. I want to see you like levitate some shit, man. Pull the supreme earthbender, man. You're tall times a thousand. Fuck it, man. Yeah, like lift that shelf. I want you to pick up a fucking continent. Stop digging around, ten tails. Stop fucking digging around. God damn it. God damn it, ten tails. I love you, but I hate you. I love the fact that you're here, but I hate the fact that you ain't doing the cool shit. Do some cool shit. The Tail Beast Bomb, it used to be cool as fuck. Now it's annoying. It really is. I mean, they're they're literally spamming the fucking shit out of it. And it's like, you Tail Beast should have other shit than the Tail Beast Bomb. Because Killer B said that the Tail Beast Bomb is their ultimate technique. Not the only technique. 
Please do other shit. Do other shit. Please, God. Now, that being said, 10 kills, the way you did the 8 tail ox, dirty. I like it. it was, that was slick. Now, I don't know, because the way the panel was drawn was kind of iffy. Like, I'm not sure what happened exactly. But either the 10 tail was staring at the tail of Beast Bomb, the tail of Beast Bomb shrunk, then he flicked it at Killer B, and then it re expanded on impact, or it simply was flung back, like by like a, like a finger flick. So I'm not too sure exactly what happened just there. But I'm going to assume the latter. I'm going to assume that because the Ten Tails in of itself is physically much bigger than the Nine Tails and the Eight Tails, I'm going to assume that it was the un that that the that the Tail Beast Bomb wasn't shrunk and then he flipped it back the regular shape. And we see Naruto in Sage Mode actually saving Kakashi from imminent danger when the when the Tail Beast's tail, when the Ten Tails' tail came down. And almost try to kill them. Now, Obito, when he saw that, he said something mad suspect. Not in a gay way, but in like, uh, dude, you may in fact turn to the good side if you get the if you get the Naruto speech. And what he says is very simple. He says, Naruto, he sees that. He sees Naruto saying the Kashi. And then he says, You remind me of myself, Naruto. I was like, what the fuck? Whoa. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. No. No, 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 you are not, no, hold on, whoa, 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 what, 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 I'm just saying, man, I know, no, man, no, don't turn, don't turn to the guts like of fucking speech, this is not fairy tale. we don't pull that shit, Naruto, God, no, man, no. Fuck, man. Like, I can see it happening. Because in this chapter, specifically in this chapter, there was a lot of interaction between Naruto and Obito. There was a lot of it. And it was like, oh, fuck. Kishimoto may be leading up to Obito getting the speech. And then, you know, we see Obito actually turning towards the good side. Because here's the thing, all right? Constantly throughout the entire season of Naruto, we've seen Naruto deliver the speech, and the good guys turn good. This is something that Kishimoto has reiterated throughout the course of the series, because at the end of the day, the main fight is going to be Naruto against who? Not the Ten Tails, not Obito, not Madara, Sasuke. So he's going to make it seem as if like, okay, well if Naruto can convert Nagato, Zabuza, Maybe, I mean, maybe Obito, because it's probably going to happen. Like, at this point, it probably will happen. It really will. Um, then if he converted these guys from being good, from being evil to good, then, and Nenji, for example, so if he can do that, then there's a possibility, then there's actually a, a strong chance that he, that he can do the same thing to Sasuke. But Sasuke is going to be like the ultimate test. The ultimate test. Because Sasuke is apparently so far in a dark in a darkness where like there's no hope. Like a ban off of hope. Like Sasuke right now, he would probably go into a village and like pillage the entire village, rape all the women, and kill all the dudes. Because he's that deep in the darkness. He's he's that fucking deep. On some berserk shit. Like, you know, like, dying in the darkness. But still, like, you know, like it's leading up to that point. I can see it. I can see it. If, in fact, Naruto does turn Obito with maybe uh, maybe a little help from, from uh, Kakashi or like a backup speech then Sasuke making the speech too and he may he may say you know what I understand that I mean even though you want to like chase me down and I said time and time again I don't want to be your fucking friend Naruto you're a fucking weirdo and you're like no man you have to be my friend he may be convinced. He may be convinced. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, now, in this chapter, we all saw something. Well, first of all, number one, people, my guy, really? Yeah, last week's chapter. Dude, man, he, the Naito Fox gave my guy Chaka. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. My guy is on the fucking ground like a goddamn sloth. He's looking, he's looking, oh, he's looking like a goddamn bitch, like a fucking pussy. Like a fucking pussy, my guy. What the fuck? Stand the fuck up. Hail youth. 
God damn it. So my guy, yeah, so so I was right, of course. I was right. I was right. My guy did not receive chakra from the Nine Tail Fox. That's number one. Number two, the Nine Tail Fox has apparently uh well to put it in layman's terms, has depleted most of its chakra. Which was kind of like what? Because according to everybody, according to everybody, he has infinite chakra. He has infinite fucking chakra. He can do this shit for goddamn weeks, for months. But yet we see him, and he's meditating inside Naruto to gather more chakra. The eight is doing the same thing right now. Nah, nah, look, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but for a dude that has infinite chakra, why the fuck are you meditating to get more chakra? I mean, you have infinite chakra, man. I'm just saying. So, again, people, man, people. People. He does not have infinite chakra. He does not have infinite chakra. It is it is that simple. It is confirmed. It is confirmed in this chapter. We see him meditating, gathering chakra. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, which actually is probably from is probably from the nature itself because the way he's posing is actually very reminiscent to Sage Mode pose. It really, really is. So he may be he may be performing the same thing because think about it. If the tail beasts were raised underneath the Sage of Six Paths, and the Sage of Six Paths was a sage himself, then the other tail beasts performing sage-like poses and actually gathering chakra in this sense, and maybe converting the natural chakra of the world into their own unique chakra, may be a possibility. I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense. Because this infinite chakra has to come from somewhere. It, it does. So, yeah. Okay, well, that was good. And the last thing I want to say about this chapter, before I go into summary real quick, Eno. Oh, damn, girl. Oh, uh, I mean, after seeing Eno in this week's chapter, all I'm going to say is simply this. Simply this. Sakura, you are useless as fuck. <laughs> Do you guys remember back in the day when Eno and Sakura had their freaking fighting shit, you know, because they all love Sasuke and they want to prove their woman stature and blah, blah, blah. Well, Eno fucking wins. Eno fucking wins. Hands down. Why is that? She, even though it was, even though it was only for two seconds, she took control of a god. Of a G-O capital D God. All right. She was. She was literally on God level when she took control of the tail beast when it performed its chakra wave or its bijou wave, right? Whatever. You know, yeah. My respect for you. Mm, Sakura, fuck you, fuck that. yeah, man, fuck you, Sakura. Uh, Hinata helped out too, so yeah, so Hinata and Eno did their thing. What did Sakura do? Uh, you injured? Uh. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, for those of you guys who are all about me, and then don't start this shit, my goddamn. Please avoid this shit on my fucking comment section. But for those of you guys who are fans of the whole entire parry thing, you might want to look towards Naru Eno. I mean,. Yeah, oh, man, that, that, that's a great fucking combination. But then again, Choji has that bitch on lock. Ooh, Choji, Chubby's rule. <laughs> all right. Well, so so let me go to actual summary, and I'm done. All right. But the overall for this chapter is gonna be. It was a good chapter. It was a good chapter. Again, I wish I saw more shit from the Ten Tails. But then again, now that we see everybody come out to assist Naruto. That we may in fact see the night the uh, ten tails perform more intricate godlike maneuvers, which is something again we need to fucking see desperately, desperately. So, that being said, this chapter basically starts off cube in the night, uh, eight talks midair fires Toby's bomb, but it gets flicked back. I mean, it literally gets flicked back 
like it was a freaking booger, like, you know, bing, and gets flicked back, hits the freaking eight-tail ox in midair, shit explodes, while another tail comes down, hits Naruto clone, but Naruto clone sees Kakashi out of the way, Kakashi right now, so basically they're all fine, because the uh, nine-tail fox, he's able to actually grab, um, he's actually able to grab uh, Kakashi mid-flight, and then they land back down, but then at that point in time, the nine tails is like body cloak thing like disappears and then what happens apparently is that the nine tail fox he is meditating while he's trying to get more chakra he's trying to amass more chakra then we see seeds of killer b also reverting back into his human form because now he's severely wounded by taking his own tail beast bomb and at the same time the eight tail ox is also trying to gather more chakra so they can so they can continue the fight we see my guy on the ground, on the fucking ground, with no goddamn chakra, wounded, wounded. Fuck. We see my guy on the ground, and then we see Kakashi. Kakashi is also panning, he's wheezing, because apparently taking the, taking something as big as the Atel Ox into your eye is clearly not healthy for you, so, you know, obviously he's wheezing. <laughs> he's, he's wheezing. And what happens... Is that Naruto's gonna prepare a fucking Shadow Clone and try to attack Obito and Madara? Madara! Madara's punking him! Like, like Ma Madara is literally punking him on a mental level. He's like, because it was, what was funny was that Madara says, a half ass, well, half assed band of ninjas can't even reach a consensus. And Naruto's like, huh? Can, can, what'd you call me? It's like, like, dude, like, you're a fucking idiot. Like, he, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's, he's a fucking idiot. And, you know, for Naruto fans, he, he's not stupid, man. He's, he's not stupid, man. Believe it. Believe in what? Believe in the heart of cards. Uh-huh. Yugi. Okay. That being said, after that, we see, like, after they're punking each other, Tail Beast is like, you know, fuck it. Does the Tail, well, the uh, Ten Tails is about to perform the Tail, the, uh, tail Beast wave. But what happens? Eno takes control of... Of the fucking Ten Tails' body. <gasps> Eno takes control of the Ten Tails' body. We see the Ten Tails perform a freaking wave. And like, the wave is like blasting through like subtle amounts of rages. So, confirmed at least today, uh, Ten Tails. The Ten Tails' destructive capacity right now is multi mountain buster. So, fucking. And, uh, plus, plus, whatever. And, <laughs> for, for all, for all the, uh, form guys out there who watch my shit, which, you know, they do. And, <laughs> what happens is that all of the fucking, all, everyone comes down. Everybody comes down. They're all there. Everyone's fucking ready to assist Naruto. Sakura's gonna go heal guy now. Yeah. She's gonna heal guy. And then they're all waiting for uh, like basically like they make like they make like a world like le like a win something like they make, they make like a win like cloaking thing around everybody so the ten tails can't quote unquote see them but we, we he knows that if he sprays and prays he's, he's gonna get some hits because there's three thousand plus motherfuckers in an in a certain area no shit and after that naruto and obito say final words and then naruto says you know like the greatest Jutsu ever, the Shinobi Alliance, really, fu really fucking gay, and then it's gonna kick the ass out of uh, Infinite Tsukiyomi, and that is the end of the chapter. So the chapter overall is a good because again, like honestly, like it was, it was a good chapter. It was a good chapter. I liked it. You know, mad respect, mad fucking respect. And I'm done. King Lightning. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'm signing out. Peace. Have a nice day.